Hi, today I want to talk about PDF Butler bags. So you see them as an extra tab in the PDF Butler app and packs are great to combine multiple documents, multiple doc configs and add actions to these doc configs. So I have a pack here that will mail my quote to my, uh, to my customer. So the pack will have a leading doc config. So this is the doc config that you want to use to so in this case, I want to mail my quote to my customer. So I have a leading doc config for the quote. Then related to this pack, I have actually an, uh, a couple of actionables. So these are actions to take before or after the document is generated. In this, in this case, I have a before actionable. It will just add data, prepare data, calculate data, set data ready put to my document so I can use it in my doc config. And when the document is generated, I have an after actionable and this after actionable will actually email my doc config and all my pack doc configs to my customer. Okay, so we have the actionables. Now we want not only to send the quote, but we also want to send out the terms and conditions our general conditions, we want to send it out to the customer together with our quote. So we combine all of these in a pack. We combine our quote, our general conditions, we get extra information, we calculate data, we get it from external sources. All of this is possible. And when all of this is done, we actually send out these documents to our customers. Okay, that's our pack. To work with a pack, in the PDF Butter document selection tool, it's really easy. So as always, you just edit the page. Everything that I will show you today is also perfectly possible via our invocables that uh, are used with Process Builder or uh, Visual Flow. So uh, and via IPEX code, of course, uh, all that you want to do. So we have our pack here. That's the ID of our pack we have to put. We it's a name of the pack. We just call it a mail quote. And very important, we have these merge items. So if you have multiple documents in our pack, as we have, we have our leading doc config and we have some extra doc config or terms and conditions. Then we have to decide if we want to merge them or we just want to keep them separate. In this case, I want to keep them separate. So when we mail out these to the customers, we want them to receive two documents, our doc config, our quote, and our general conditions. Okay, so let's save this. Let's go back. As with the PDF Butter Vision, everything is a single click of a button. So I click the, document, uh, the PDF button and it's already done. My documents were generated and they were added to the uh, uh, to the email. So I got an email and as promised, so it's the email is perfectly branded. It's uh, appointed to Jack and Jack is our is our primary contact. So we send it out to Jack, our primary contact, and we have sent out two documents. First of all, our killer quote that we have sent out, and next to that, our terms and conditions. So this is a full overview of our terms and conditions. I've added these ones as a static PDF. So uh, it's a PDF that's actually generated by our legal department, and it's uh, static. So if you want to have a doc config that has merge fields, uh, all of these in there, it's also perfectly possible, but then you have to create a doc config of a uh, main Word document. Okay, cool. So we have this uh, email. Now, if we just say we want only one document to be sent out yeah, and we want to merge, we want to glue together our quote and our general terms and conditions, uh, this is a very easy step to do. We just go to edit page. We select our lightning component and we just say merge save this one okay go back and when i click the button again you can only already guess what will happen so we
we have generated the documents and we have glued them together. So now uh, Jack will not receive two documents, but he will receive an email. It's already there with only one document. So we know that the, the same email as before, but now it's one document. And as you can see, it's our quote, but also our terms and condition all glued together in one big, nice looking document. Okay, so this is what you can do with packs. If you want to have uh, more actionables on the packs, you can just add these ones. All of the items are possible. So you can send it to Sign Butler, our e-signature tool. You can run your own classes to get information from external sources or do calculations. Or you can even uh, have after classes to, uh, to uh, inform your ERP system or any other system that the document uh, is there. So we, so we use now the auto email. Of course, there are all these options are are very available for everybody to work with. So I hope this was interesting to learn more about our packs. If you might have any questions, just point out to support at pdfbutler.com and we will be happy to answer them.